Hey, what's up, guys? Today I want to show you the red neck bubble balancer I made. So, first you're gonna need a bullseye level, which is let me walk closer. Then connected by three wires on the Pepsi cap. Now on the back side of this, you want to glue a little coin, and then use a center punch to create a little hole in the middle and then coming down here one Pepsi bottle is actually not strong enough so I cut five and glued them together and then you want some sort of supporting beam you can I just happen to have this beam you can make make it with a one by one and then reinforce on the bottom uh, same thing here so I Cut a little wood, uh, hammer it in, and then put two little screws on each side so that it doesn't slide down. And then you want to drill a little hole on the top. You know, not very deep about this much. You want to get a very long nail. And then you know you want to wrap some uh, tape or whatever paper around it and then put it in. And then put a little bit hot glue there. Of course, the nail top of the nail is better if you can polish it a little bit with a file so that it gets smoother. Um, so the setup is basically like this. You, know, you have this sitting on the ground, and then you have this sitting on the top, and it free spins really well. So it's basically the same design as the uh, real bubble balancer, um, except this one costs less than ten bucks. A real bubble balancer would cost over a hundred bucks. Uh, this works really well. You know, it's, it takes time. You need patience for it. But uh, same as the real bubble balancer that I have anyways, the same thing, it's also time consuming. So um, this thing works great, I've used it, I like it, and I'm going to show you um, how to actually use this bubble balancer. I put the tire on the uh, bottle, the cone shaped bottle I made, um, checked around, you know, Make sure every four sides have the same lens on there so it's like ready level. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, grab a permanent marker, um, make a mark there. So basically, when you mark it, um, oh, this one is actually you don't want to change the angle you put down your pen. So I basically just set it on the edge and slide over so that I know I wouldn't uh, have a curved line on there um. so it takes a little bit of practice um, to set this bubble in the middle first now you want to first get down to the same level right here and then you want to eyeball it adjust with your hand a little bit you want to make sure all these three wires are banded uh, towards each other so that it's a lot easier to give it adjustment later um, now if you see let's say the bubble is out of the circle here then you want to come to the edge directly here you don't want to touch it with your hand because it's not as accurate so you want to grab a needle nose plier grab that and bend it down a little bit depends on how far away the bubble is from the little middle circle um, so again you know it's 
doesn't have to be super duper right in the middle like this is okay it's doable so there's these uh, um, weight removal tool you can get um, it'd be helpful but it's not that necessary it's not like you can't do it with a screwdriver and needle nose um, plier so you basically you want to sort of pry it off a little bit at the beginning with the screwdriver it's harder to do it with one hand obviously because I got the other hand holding up the camera Slowly work on it. Try it little by little. Okay, so that's coming out. And then grab your plier, just sort of, you know, again work around it. It's a little bit tight. So you just slightly tap it with a little hammer. It gets loose a little bit. There, better now. Yeah, sometimes when it stays in there for a long time and it gets rusted as you can see here it's really rusted so it gets really tight um, you want to give it a little bit hammer just for vibration so that the surface break off underneath and then you can move it easier so, there you go that way it's gone as well then you want to clean it a little bit and then of course um, set up this you know adjust the top make sure the bubble is in the middle and then you're gonna put this on there and keep adding more weight so once you put it on there um, because this is very smooth because it's basically the Pepsi bottle um, you can slightly move it with it's easier if you do it with two hands but here see how easy it slides so I want to sort of make sure that uh, the center ball have even clearance around this line we previous drew so you want to make sure you don't touch the level on the top And you know, if you want to marry it, go ahead. It's probably not that necessary. Yeah, you can just sort of like put your finger inside the hole and just sort of push a little bit. You know, push is easier than pull. So I think that's reasonably centered, but. I'll double check again. <clears throat> so, what do I have? Like six millimeters. So, what do I have on this side? Um, four. Okay, so I got. Push this side a little bit. There. Five. Oh, good. 
cross check first. So the cross check is actually fine, so that doesn't need any adjustment. So it's only this direction. It's about six, and that is about four. Yeah, okay, so just a little bit push from that direction. So it's five. And that is five. So now this is perfectly centered. So it's balanced now. Um the funny thing is I only have these quarter ounce ones, so I'm gonna have to use lots of them. Um, you want to grab a chalk and mark two lines here because you're going to be um, putting in these weights on the other side which is behind over there and you can put these three rows side by side I mean obviously it's better if you have heavier weight than these little quarter ounce ones so you don't have to apply so many rows um, basically I'll show you. You want to come here. Um, you want to really clean up this surface. You know, if you use rubbing alcohol, it's the best choice. And then you want to peel off these um, the back of these little weights and stick some on here. Now you can see the setup of this room is I'll be putting um, one row here, another row here, and then on top of this row, I'll put another row. So it's going to be two rows, but two layers here, uh, which should be perfectly balanced. Well, not perfectly, but should be balanced. And then, of course, um, if you have a heat gun, it would be better. But if you don't, uh, grab your hair dryer and you know just heat them up so that they stay. Within 24 hours, they should cure really well on there and you should have no trouble in the future.